This is the iBasso 3T154, and it is an interesting IEM in many ways. 3T in the name means that the driver and the IEMs are capable of having a maximum magnetic flux of 3 Tesla. 154 in the name refers to the diameter of the beryllium plated dynamic drivers in the IEM. I'll just call it 3T from now on. It's the first and only IEM to feature a magnesium alloy shell as far as I know. And it is the IEM with the largest dynamic driver yet at 15.4 millimeters. This driver size was used in earbuds, but according to my research, it has never been used in an IEM. Correct me if I'm wrong. Having a few weeks to listen to them, they were reminiscent of listening to open back headphones in many ways. The specifications of the 3T are on the screen right now. Pause the video if you need to. Now let's unbox the 3T and I'll tell you more about it. The 3T is housed with magnesium alloy shells to reduce the overall weight of the IEMs. According to iBasso, using magnesium alloy shells are 36% lighter than aluminium alloy shells and 78% lighter than stainless steel shells. It has a replaceable gold nozzle design, which interestingly reveals the 15.4mm drivers once you remove them. The 3T comes with a lot of tips. It came with four sets of silicone tips, each set in different shapes and sizes, and also two sets of foam tips, a larger pair and a smaller pair. You can experiment around with the tips to see which one you like most. I prefer the solid black tips from the stock tips, but after further experimentation, the final E tips I had lying around fitted me best. The 3T also came with two extra nozzles, they are exactly the same as the ones on the IEMs, so I'm not sure why they provided an extra pair. It's good to have spares though. The 3T comes with a 0.78mm 2-pin detachable cable, made from high-purity silver-plated copper. The cable is quite chunky for an IEM cable. The wires, the splitter, and the plug are all pretty large. You can swap out the plug to a 3.5mm or 4.4mm plug using the included screwdriver in the package. Personally, I would prefer a narrower and lighter cable, but this one is pretty decent considering the size of the IEMs. Initially, I was worried that the 3T wouldn't fit in my ears as I have pretty small ears. I really wanted to like the Sony Z1R IEMs in the past, but they just did not want to fit in my ears due to the width of them. Luckily, the 3T isn't as wide and I have no problem fitting them in my ears. The magnesium alloy shells are flared towards the outside, so that the part that actually fits in your ear isn't that large. The largest part of the IEMs actually sit outside of the concha of my ears. Despite of the large shells, they actually sit very comfortably in my ears. There aren't any hot spots even with extended periods of use. I would say the 3Ts are comfortable IEMs to wear for me, thanks to its round shells and lightweight magnesium alloy shells. Although these look pretty huge, they are only about 9.5 grams per side. The isolation of the 3T is below average in my experience. There are a total of 5 vents on the inner side of the IEMs, so don't expect them to block out a lot of external noise. The 3T has a mostly neutral tuning and it is a highly detailed sounding IEM with slightly forward sounding mids. The driver sounds so quick and responds so well to minor details, it almost sounded like a planar driver. The mids and uppers of the 3T are super resolving. It will pick up a lot of minute details in a recording, especially in the vocals. With a mostly neutral and natural tonality, I think that the 3T will actually work great as a studio monitor IEM. Listening to them for the first time, it immediately reminded me of my Fostex T60R piece. 
With 15.4 mm beryllium plated dynamic drivers, the 3T is capable of producing fast and impactful bass. However, these are not your typical bass head IEMs. You will not get an overloading amount of bass on these IEMs. Instead, you get a mostly neutral bass response with a slight boost in sub bass. Having a near neutral bass response, you won't hear an exaggeration of the lower frequencies like most warm sounding IEMs would. But when playing songs that asks for it, like EDM and hip hop music, the 3T will effortlessly and accurately reproduce the bass in the tracks. One of my favorite tracks to test bass on is Hotel California by Eagles, from the Hell Freezes Over album. The 3Ts performed great and was able to reproduce those deep and rumbly drum notes throughout the song. The mids are what stands out most on the 3Ts in my opinion. It's super resolving and engaging. The mids are slightly forward sounding, which makes it excel in vocal oriented tracks. The 3T has an emphasis on the upper mid range which to my ears make vocals sound airier and more echoey. I find it especially easy to pick up backing vocals, echoes and reverbs on the 3T due to the emphasis in the upper mids. In general, the 3T has a lot of clarity in the mid-range. I really enjoyed listening to Always Remember Us This Way by Lady Gaga from the A Star Is Born soundtrack. The track is really well mastered and the 3T was able to reproduce the song nicely with Lady Gaga's voice being super detailed and engaging. The echoes of her voice in the track was also nicely perceived with lots of clarity. I think it is safe to say that the 3T is safe for treble sensitive users. The treble of the 3T is presented in a well controlled and precise manner. Cymbals and high pitched notes in guitars sound natural with adequate resolution. There's a smoothness in the treble that will allow hours of listening time without feeling fatigued. However, if you like a lot of sparkle and treble in your IEMs, you might find the treble of the 3Ts to be too conservative. The soundstage performance of the 3T is average. Although the width of the staging isn't particularly wide, the imaging and instrument separation is impressive. Even in busy rock tracks, you'll be able to hear a distance between the vocals and different instruments with great clarity. Many IEMs that are not resolving enough will often be perceived as a wall of sound when playing busy tracks, meaning that all the instruments will sound like it's coming from a single plane. That was never an issue with the 3Ts thanks to its highly resolving and transparent 15.4mm drivers. I tested the 3T154 with the DC07 Pro, DX180, and the Shanling UA4. My favorite combination sonically was with the DC07 Pro. I personally liked a slightly warmer sound and the DC07 Pro added just a slight touch of warmth in the base of the 3T. Also mind that the 3T is a very sensitive IEM, so make sure to use a quieter amp for the best quality. I had some hissing using the UA4 balance port. Compared to the ER2XR, I immediately heard more upper bass quantity on the ER2. The 3T has a much quicker bass and better sub bass presentation. Comparing the mids and vocals, both of them have similar clarity, but the 3T's vocal presence sounds slightly more forward than the ER2. Comparing the treble, the ER2 has more detail in it, but the 3T has a wider sense of space in the treble frequencies. Hearing the 3Ts for the first time, it immediately reminded me of the Foxtex T60R piece. Comparing the two, the bass is actually very similar. Both of them have a very quick bass response. Comparing the mids, I feel that the T60R piece are a bit shouty on the vocals. Sometimes it will sound a bit too fatiguing on modern pop and rap songs. The 3T, although it's a bit forward sounding in general, it sounds more laid back than the T60R piece. Treble wise, the T6Ts have better extension. By comparison, the 3T has a smoother treble response. I've tried many genres with the 3T and I found it performing especially well in classical music, metal, 
rock and vocal oriented pop tracks, thanks to its great driver technicalities and depth in imaging. However, what sounded particularly bad was some old and poorly mastered recordings from the past. For example, some old albums from the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. They sounded flat and dull with the free tees. I'd prefer using smoother and warmer sounding IEMs if you listen to a lot of tracks like these. The 3 t is picky on the source. If there are any flaws in the recording, it will be exaggerated. In conclusion, the 3 t 154 is a unique sounding IEM with unique features. While most IEMs in this price bracket feature a warm and smooth tuning, iBasel is aiming to provide us with something a bit different than the others are doing. The result is a pair of dynamic driver IEMs that share a lot of similarities with open back headphones in terms of sound characteristics. I would especially recommend the 3T for someone who is invested in full-size headphones but are finding most IEMs sounding too congested to give these a try. I think they provide a sound experience similar to semi-open or open back headphones in the form factor of an IEM. In general, if you are looking for a neutral IEM with great clarity in the mids, I think that the 3T will be a compelling choice for you in this price range.